Hello and welcome back to another vlog slash video. This one is a little bit different because this time we are doing a review on a product that is quite well known but we have never trialled before. So the product in question which I'm sure you can see from the title is Flexon Stirrup Irons. These are the Flexon customizable green composite stirrups with ultra grip and incline. Damn, that's a mouthful. So I have been riding in these for two weeks now. I got them in the Black Friday sale and here are my thoughts. I really love the support that the Flexon stirrups have given my foot because they've got a wide base. I feel that my foot really feels the support through the sole and the spikes that stick out of the foot of the stirrups really help my feet to stay still in the iron which not only helps with stability but helps me feel more secure as well. I have ridden with them at a dressage competition and I thought they looked really smart and actually helped us to play second. I have had a walk, trot, canter and jump in these stirrups and I must say I really really love how they feel. I definitely feel more support and I actually noticed it the most when I had to go back to using my other irons just how secure they helped me to feel. The Flexon Composite stirrups are available in multiple different colours of frame, magnet and the spring in between the foot base and the very bottom of the frame which I think is really cool if you wanted to spice it up. Um, I just went for complete black on black on black because I'm sleek as and I think it looks really really smart on my saddle so they are a big win for me and I look forward to continuing to use them. I have already done my first impressions on this however me <laughs> Heather is going to trial them out today for the first time. These are not good on camera are they? <laughs> so I'm excited. Are you ready? Yeah. Firstly, Heather is going to try them, try the original stirrups on this saddle, which are just bog standard flexi stirrups. Nelly has uh, chosen to be our test dummy. Yeah, she volunteered. She volunteered, yeah, she was really keen for the job. And then after a walk trot and canter, we're going to switch Heather to these and see what she thinks. And then at the end, I'll give, her, I'll give you 10 cents. And then to finish the vlog, we'll just go over the price, pros and cons, and what we think if we are going to invest in a second pair, or if we're just gonna stick with the cheap ones. Stay tuned. Okay, here we have Heather riding in standard stirrup irons. If the horse could not be asleep, that would be great. <laughs> Here's trotting in normal stirrup irons. So, cantering on the other rein in standard stirrup irons. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, first impressions. Definitely feel different. Like I can feel that my foot is like on there. Yeah. Which I think actually, because one of the things that I struggle with is putting my weight into my stirrups. Mm -hmm that might help me because I can really feel it yeah. on the bottom so it's like a case of pushing it down. Yeah. Should be good. That's yeah, and there is an incline. Yeah. A natural incline to help. So yeah, that, that does look pretty good. Okay. okay. So here's what in the new stirrups. How does it feel? I feel like I might be a bit harder actually, but I think that's good for me because my position is quite lazy. Okay. So I think it's probably correct for me. Um, that also could be because I'm tired, so I can't have lunch, you know. <laughs> Here we've got trotting in the flex on stirrups. The horse isn't playing ball. 
Nelly was on box rest up until a month ago so she has lost a bit of her condition and she's just getting back into schooling so she's a bit rusty but that's okay. Oh nice, well done. And cantering in the flex on stirrups. Good girl. Lovely. So that is us going to wrap up the review for the Flexons. We're going to run over a few quick fire pros and cons, starting with pros. So, positive this. Aye, positivity. Positivity. <laughs> so, first pro for me is that they definitely aid my knee pain. I have struggled with knee pain before, hence why I rode in other flexi stirrups. And these don't seem to have aggravated it at all, which sometimes new stirrups can. For me, I think, as I was saying in the review, I think it's going to be beneficial for my leg position. Um, yeah, just putting the weight in the stirrup and kind of angling your foot with the angle that it has already there the support for getting your heels down and I think yeah they are super supportive another pro is these are extremely customizable so you can pick the color of your springs the color of your actual frame and the color of your magnet here and that magnet can be removed so that you can put different colours inside. So if you were going cross country, whatnot, you could put different colours in there, which I think is really cool. Another good thing about them, they're really light. Um, so obviously we're all lugging our saddles around everywhere and we want to keep them as light as possible. So um, much lighter than a, a metal stirrup. Yep. Which is nice. Because they're not metal, they're not liable to rust as much, I think. They all easier to wipe down and look cleaner, I think, than like your sort of steel metal. Um, and also you can't see them as easily, I think, on the saddle, so that kind of makes it look a bit more like... Depending on what colour you choose. Cohesive. Oh, that's true. You could pick whatever colour you want. Like but I like this for kind of blending in. Like, how slick does that look? Even though it's brown black, but slick. apparently, you know, brown black is in fashion these days. Yes. yes. As demonstrated here. Not as many bad points as there are good points, but a couple of points that we were kind of like... Aware of. Aware, yeah, something to consider. Um, the first one being that these bits that help with the grip, which is obviously a benefit, um, and then maybe if you're pulling your leather through, they could possibly be scratchy. Now these are quite cheap, so uh, it's not so much of an issue, but if you had nice fancy leathers, which... Possibly going to get and try on next. Excuse me. You're doing a review here. Uh, you might scratch your leathers, and uh, it depends on how precious you are about your leathers, but that could be. Yeah, quite I have negative. had to be careful, and I think maybe a little stirrup iron cover might be of note because the next con I'm going to talk about is that they are actually quite difficult to get on and off. We have seen other stirrups, sort of three jumps, etc., that you can just slip on and off at the bottom of your leathers. These have to, because they don't have a gap at the top, which we mentioned earlier, you have to take them off the leathers to change them or to put them on. So it's not as easy to just remove them at the end of every ride and pop them back on. You have to take the full leather off the saddle, which could take time and could be a bit annoying. And also more liable to forget to put them on if you go somewhere. <laughs> Depends on the quality of your leathers though. I don't like obviously with these ones, yeah. they can be tough to get on. And I think like with more expensive leathers, sometimes they can be easier to put on. Yes, um, yeah, I can only speak for these basic, normal bog standard ones, which I'm probably guessing most people have yeah, in any case. Essentially. essentially. But maybe better leathers, you can slide them on easier. Next one of these ones, and this is not all um, flex ones, these aren't safety ones. Um, and the reason we didn't get a safety one is the other con, <laughs> and the last one. Um, but you say it doesn't really bother you that they're not safety ones. No, I've never ridden in safety stirrups, therefore... It doesn't bother me that these aren't safety, but for people who like the safety aspect, this this type of flex-ons do not have that. If you do want safety certs and flex-ons, you have to pay about £100 more. That being our final con, is that they are pretty damn pricey. These are the flex-on composite 
with standard stirrup and they are about 170 175 pounds without the safety feature if you want the safety feature it takes you about 260 pounds so not cheap nothing with horses is but really not not cheap we got these in the black friday sale at Equitro, so i did get them for 140 pounds and i know there are influencers out there who have discount codes for Equitro, and they're also available at treehouse and we know that people have treehouse discount codes as well so i would never pay full price <laughs> if you don't have but to would we ever pay full price for anything if no, no. We waited so long for that Black Friday sale to see how much it was. Yeah, exactly. So, yes, the price is a massive, massive con. The stirrups I was wearing originally, I got off Facebook Marketplace for £12. So, much, much more expensive. Ten times more expensive. So, that is a big con. However, I do feel like the support I'm getting from them and the fact that I hopefully will never have to buy another pair again might make it worth it. And also just the fact looks pretty so do we think it's worth the price will you be buying a pair I probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think I will um I think I would be interested to see more of how my riding develops over time with them mm -hmm. um so yes I will probably purchase we'll see if there are any January sales about yeah. them uh, all in all yes we like them they are jolly jockey approved but definitely not necessary no definitely not necessary but if you've got a bit of money to spare it's your birthday it's your christmas absolutely Go on then. Go definitely on then. not a bust no. if you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe and let us know if you want us to review anything else mm -hmm. we think Leathers. we think the next thing we're going to review are pravin's white stirrup leathers which we are both hoping to purchase follow us on all social media at two jolly jockeys <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.